Martina. Yeah. Organizing stuff. Take out gathering at the Chewies in Ore Valley. The people there say that they're supporting local businesses and they say it is time for restrictions to end so people can get back to work. That affects the whole community, everybody, because we need to get money. We need to start working. Everybody, and not just that, but we need to start socializing. I'm visually impaired and I'm home all day by myself and I miss going out to my friends' businesses, supporting them, and seeing my friends. So this is what this is all about. We need to open Arizona. As we've been telling you, Governor Ducey continues to roll back restrictions in Arizona. Salons and barbershops will be allowed to reopen this coming Friday, and restaurants will get to resume limited dine-in service starting Monday. It's the investors. It's the food distributors. It's the alcohol distributors. It trickles down. So it's not just affecting one person. So, yes, we're saving lives by... Uh, expecting a lot of support, so we will please... Um, ask you for your time, patience, and thank you for coming. Please support to call your friends, call people, have them come down, have some talk. Get opened up, and get going, and get rid of it. No, so. <laughs>
Tucson Trump Maga. So you can remember our name. Anyway, Tucson Trump Maga. Go, Lewis. Chewy. Welcome to you. To come out and participate in this wonderful event. To get Arizona working again. Yay. Just wanted you to know, Daniel McCarthy just got here. He's going to say a few words. We want Chris out here to talk about his experience. So please order food, drink plenty of water, enjoy. Garrett Lewis is here. Garrett Lewis will probably be coming up too and talking as you know, as he does for us. Love it. So welcome, love it, love it, welcome, love it, love it. Owners, it's the investors. It's the food distributors, it's the alcohol distributors. It trickles down, so it's not just affecting one person. So yes, we're saving lives by social You want to talk to the media behind us? All right. They just love Trump, right? Let everybody else sit down, too. I still want to take a chair. It's very easy. You should sit. So. Oh, we're busy talking to the media and uh, all that That's got to be fun. It is. We were up in Phoenix. It was hilarious because of the scene. dreams come true. Ah. <laughs> he sells cars. He makes dreams cars. come true. Yeah. yeah. Transportation freedom. There you go. Who has, who's getting some ice cream? Yeah. What are you getting? A cry baby. Italian ice cream. <laughs> Yummy. Thank you. 
support this local business. I know they could use it, and you guys are awesome. And we got the great MAGA, the MAGA group here that they are they are phenomenal. And Nadia, don't ever get on Nadia's bad side. Nadia doesn't have a bad side. No, I'm all good. You like that? We can say that and get away with it. We're adults. Um, and we have a lot of great people here. Thank you guys. Bye. How's, the, how's the food, by the way? Good, because you guys have been in line so long, I haven't been able to get any food. But that's okay. I don't have a mask either. You don't have a mask? No mask. No mask. No mask. No mask. You can no do a mask. mask if you want. I'm not going to no think mask. anything negative of you publicly. So, thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's something I know. So, listen, thank you so much for coming. You got that one? There you go. You just can't breathe in those things. And then when you touch them, it makes no sense. Right? It's like putting a. You know, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like it's like you gotta treat the mask like like your wife. You know, there's just no touching. Hey. There's no touching. <laughs> it's not mine. It's like putting a rubber on it. Putting Let's rubber on it after put, you knock up a girl. No, okay, you can you can go on your head. You can go <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for coming down. Um, there's really great people here, including guy behind me who has this gigantic RV. Yeah. And it's an old RV. Let's take a poll. Who, who likes the nickname the best? McSilent? Who like McSilent? Is that a good nickname? Yeah. yeah. I'm not asking to like her, just the nickname. Yeah. Mick, or Mick Kamikaze, as Daniel calls her. Mick Kamikaze. Yeah. Do makes her sound good? Yeah. McSilent? Yeah, I don't want that. That's too nice, though. So that's too nice. So, she is, um, she is desperately clinging to Trump's side, even though she trashed Trump nonstop. Yeah. Wouldn't vote for Trump. You know that. You know, this guy was was ponying up some cash for Trump, fundraising for Trump. Is that right? Right? You were doing yeah. that? He was doing all the right things, and now you got Mick Loser out there who is just kissing butt like there's no tomorrow, desperate, and it's over for him. Mick Loser, I yeah, like Mick that. Yeah, Mick Loser, like that? And now, and now we have this guy who's going to take on the astronaut. Yeah. Yeah. Send him back to outer space. If you're one of us, uh, she has a binder back there, so please make sure that Sally gets your business card. Um, you guys are okay with an like, hour speech out here? We should be fine. Two hours, two hours. You didn't think that was <laughs> These elitists, these puppets, whatever you want to call them, they do not have the authority. They've overreached. They've gone too far this time. Okay? So what you're doing by coming out here, I want to thank all of you personally because what you're doing is you're standing up to that. We have to stand up to that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to go into a little bit of detail though briefly on what's happening. Uh, I'm going to have Chris say a few words really quick. Yeah, say a few words about your restaurant. First of all, we just want to thank everybody for being here. Absolutely. Louder, louder, louder. Well, well, thank you for being here. It means the world to us. It really does. Our staff, I mean, it's impossible louder, to even... Louder, louder. Um, is that yeah. better? Yeah. Uh, thank you for being here from the bottom of our heart. Man. It's, uh, it's, it means the world to us. Uh, it is completely impossible with what they have set out for us to do to even survive and uh it's just the recognition and the support is absolutely incredible i just from from all of chewy staff we thank you every one of you thank you correct so um and then uh, we had they had said we just need you to sign this uh and we'll reinstate it and we said not on our life not until our attorney reads it we're not signing nothing is the basic essential of the Second Amendment, right? So I can tell this, the writing was on the wall, that they were about to turn Arizona royal blue. So what we did was, is really early, we slapped an AR-15 on the side of our RV this yeah. morning. Yeah. 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 The reason I'm telling you this is because immediately we started going to work. We started going to Board of Supervisor meetings. Hey, love your shirt. Oh yeah, look at that one. Show me that. <laughs> Show me the sticker. Show me the sticker. The sticker. Oh, oh, here. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. They skipped right over the second, and they said, "No, we'll just go right for the first. Folks, this is a God-given right. It has nothing to do with the government. The government doesn't tell us if we can own firearms. The government doesn't tell us if we can get together. That's not how the game works. 
So remind them of that. Don't just remind them that on election day. Remind them of that every day. Send emails. Make phone calls. Post on social media. Take take yard signs. Put them up. Your, your neighbors are going to spit at you through a toilet paper. We want the toilet paper now, don't we? <laughs> We'll take it. Far ahead. Yes, we're not Okay? We will fight this war. We will win this war. Big time. And we will not stop until that happens. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you guys very much. This one is a reading one section of the state constitution that directly relates to this business being closed and Walmart being open. Yeah. Uh, equal privileges and immunities. No law shall be granted to any citizen, class of citizen, or corporation other than municipal privileges or immunities which upon the same terms shall not equally belong to all citizens and all corporations. So you ask, why would they allow Target, Walmart, all these big corporations to stay open, but they shut down our hair salons, our uh, restaurants, take away the mom and pop. Well, if you're a Walmart or a Target, you welcome the government to shut down your competition. Why wouldn't you want your competition shut down? And also, Ducey does not want to face the lawsuit from those elephants that never caused them. I can't thank you guys enough. He's like, I had no idea. He said, as soon as I got off the phone, I went outside and my neighbors were in their driveway pumping their fists. He's like, I had no idea about you or your show or anything. And you know, it's almost like, you know, good to see you. It's almost like what Trump said. It's like the silent majority. Yeah. You know, it's the silent majority. So now he has sung like, oh my God, we had no idea. We listened, we had no idea how many people actually listen. And so when Daniel says, hey, get out there, put up the yard signs, all this stuff. I think there's many, many, many more people that support Daniel and are willing to do it. And they don't go out telling everybody because they don't have to. So it's going to happen more and more. You've got to keep your nose to the grindstone. And just know there's a lot There's a lot more of us than anybody even realizes. That's all I want to say. Yeah. You know, don't wait for something like this pandemic to happen. Become involved in your precincts. Become involved in your area. Become a PC, a precinct committeeman. Right now, you, be, you can become a write-in elected PC, we have the which floor. gives you a little bit more power of electing your Pima County officers this December. And we got to start at the bottom. we got to start at the county level in order to pick some good conservative Republicans to represent us. But we can't do it by just sitting at home. you got to get out. You've got to get involved. We have the forms here. Please become a write-in candidate. very easy. All you got to do is write it in and become an elected PC. Okay? And I just want to end with a little bit of my story and what my passion, why I came out today. And it's because I am visually impaired, as you all know, and I have no control over that. God has control over that. But God had no control over this pandemic. It was something that was planned. It was something that was brought to us. And it is not right. That is not right. I will, I will do whatever I can and, and, and fight and get out here. So you all have to do. Let's get out. Let's do local businesses. Get out tomorrow. Get out Saturday, Friday, Monday, whatever. Let's just get back to work. Let's get Arizona back up because this is just crazy. And this is not a God planned pandemic. This is something else. And we can control it. So let's do what we can control. And I'm going to end it by something that I heard at last uh, rally. I think that were the words for Patrick Henry Give me liberty or give me death. And I choose. Uh, condemning what's what's been done with extending this uh, this lockdown. I also want to just lastly encourage everyone here to uh, help us win 
in 2020 in the primary and in the general election. And uh, you can do that if you're uh, a PC. You can do that if you are um, a delegate by participating in the convention uh, that's uh, taking place this Saturday the 9th online. So if you're a delegate, please get involved.